What's up guys? Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. You guys know what time it is. This video is actually about Kung Fu. Actually works and is not, uh, you know, bullshit. As long as I can remember, I was always into uh, martial arts, uh, action, you know, watching Bruce Lee movies and all that. I started when I was 13 in um, Kung Fu because my parents didn't want me to do any martial arts before that. So it was a Shaolin Hungar Kung Fu style. And I did that for two years and I got my, I think I got to purple sash, but then I stopped and I switched over to Taekwondo. And the reason why is because I didn't learn how to fight and I wanted to learn martial arts, not just because it looked cool, but because I wanted to learn how to fight because you know, you would see Bruce Lee in movies kicking everyone's ass and you'd be like, well shit, I want to be like that guy. <laughs> So I went to Taekwondo because I heard they had sparring and it, it was, it was great. I did Taekwondo for three years and there was a lot of sparring, you know, with the chest protector and sometimes we would do it, but even without the chest protector, for the most part, actually, we didn't have a chest protector. We're just doing it like more or less light. And then one day I got, um, I was beating up on this, I was sparring with this uh, older gentleman. I got punched in the face because I was kicking that guy's ass and he got so upset that I was like, like completely dominating him in Taekwondo that he just fucking decided to crack me in the face, like right there, bam, you know? And of course, uh, you know, some people jumped in and told him, hey, why'd you do that? And blah, 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 blah. But I mean, no, nobody really did anything to him. I would have liked somebody to beat him up, you know, but I guess nobody did. And I was really pissed because I couldn't beat him up. And then I realized I didn't know how to fight. So that kind of really ticked me off. I met this older, older gentleman who was training one of my friends. He was into more, um, he did a lot of uh, different styles of Kung Fu and self-defense and Thai boxing. And he, he mixed up a lot of things and he taught me some, uh, some a more like self-defense, combat oriented type of, you know, uh, Kung Fu. 30 years old, I come out of, uh, I come out of jail. <laughs> For those of you guys who don't know, yeah, I was, uh, that's what I meant by in the 20s to 30s, you know, that was pretty, pretty wild, uh, wild, wild times, wild times. And uh, I started BJJ and then from there, I'm like a, a, a big believer all of a sudden that MMA is the way to go. Completely disregarded, uh, you know, everything I learned from before, like traditional martial arts, Kung Fu, and in my mind, it was all BS, you know, all of it. My buddy who was coaching me in striking, well, he did a lot of traditional uh, martial arts, Kung Fu and all that. He was essentially kicking my ass using a lot of these Kung Fu moves. And I was so impressed by that. And then so we talked a lot about it and he explained to me how it actually works, the philosophy behind it, you know how if you fight empty-handed it's a completely different game so then i started becoming a believer again i'm like wait a second so there is uh, a method to the madness it's not essentially all bs i'm looking up videos online uh to how to do jikong so i looked into that because i want to do that to heal up my body and then from there i fell on two two masters actually three masters one of them is uh uh sifu yan lei he's actually a warrior warrior shaolin monk He's like into MMA and kickboxing and stuff like that. He has his own gym. And the other one is um, Sifu uh, Shi Heng Yi. I'm listening to these guys' videos and it, it started making sense. For the most part, Sha the Shaolin Temple, okay, was supposedly, it, back in those age, it was like a, a university. They would all come there, gather, exchange knowledge, you know, meditation, this, that, stretching. Uh, grappling and all kinds of stuff and then of course there was also Shaolin monks were also involved in a lot of wars too my understanding now of kung fu is that it's actually three folds okay so it's you have the internal you have the external and then you have the fighting the internal is ji kong ji kong is actually uh about internal health about the breath you're strengthening the insides through your breath, you're learning how to synchronize, to be aware of your body. The forms is not, aren't for really for fighting. It's a form of calisthenics. It's a form of physical training to strengthen your body so that you get ready to fight. That's when there, it's a whole other system where, okay, now they're gonna extract certain things and then fighting is gonna look very different from the forms. It's, it's to develop uh, timing, coordination, balance, movement patterns. And, and to progressively overload your muscles also, because remember, they didn't have weights at, in those days. So you had to use your body, okay, to get stronger, 
right? Through, uh, you know, creating tension and relaxing. And that's another thing they did, isometrics, right? Like, rah, they contracted, but you have to have that mind-muscle connection. But that's where the G-Kong uh, Kong comes in. So you had to turn your body into a weapon. So, so for you to do that, you have to have the internal aspect of it, the hard and the soft internal, so you can regulate it. And then you have to have the conditioning. That's where the forms come in and the movement patterns, right? To, to, and to, to strengthen like uh, your body. And then from there, you will learn how to, you would, then you would extract that and you will learn how to fight. A big part of it was loss. And I remember Ramsey Dewey talking about this. Ramsey Dewey is another YouTuber and uh, I really enjoy his channel. I'll link it below. I'll link that video where he talks about the cultural revolution where, you know, Mao Zedong came in and essentially took over. And then from there, a lot of the, the Kung Fu masters fled. And I think that a lot of it still remains but not everybody has the full picture or the full spectrum, the full system, except for this one guy, the monkey fist master in Taiwan, supposedly trained, uh, from my understanding from the videos that I saw, trained with some other masters. So this is super interesting to me. So this kind of revitalized and re, um, um, rekindled my faith in Kung Fu. Like these guys, their main thing was warfare back in those days. You know, for probably thousands of years, they were going at it. You know, they were just like dynasties and this, the Hans, the this, the blah, 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 blah. <sighs> They're all like just going at it, killing each other. You're telling me these guys didn't know how to punch somebody, didn't know how to break somebody's leg, didn't know how to joint lock? Of course they did. It was just lost, you know, somewhere. You know, when you learn martial arts back then, it was really just for survival. And, and so you could kick some ass and kill people. Not kick ass, it was like literally to kill somebody. So what I used to think in regards to Kung Fu being BS, I don't believe that anymore. I think that there's, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. It's just that, yes, there's a lot of um, BS going on out there, right? There's a lot of uh, so-called masters that only mastered a very small part of it or only mastered forms, or only, but they, they don't have the whole complete system. That's my thoughts, guys. This is where I'm headed in my uh, thought process evolution in terms of martial arts. So I'm gonna link all of that below. You guys check it out. You guys let me know what you think. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So hey, comment, uh, like, and share, of course. So to help me grow the channel. Appreciate every one of you guys. Send me your questions by email. Love you. Next one. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you can follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me 